day 68. So today uh, we're going through Kearsage Pass. It's only about a nine mile day, but we gotta need to get there real quick. It's 6 a.m. We get there to the road, get to Independence, and get a bus to the Bishop. Because we're going into Bishop today, and we're gonna stay there today. Half today, we're gonna go ahead and take a zero tomorrow, the group. We need another zero. <laughs> so uh, where we go one, we go all. Yeah, okay. Found a better spot. Look at that. We're supposed to be hurrying. <laughs> We've been waiting on you. Yeah. Bullfrog Lake. Why is it called Bullfrog Lake? Are there bullfrogs there? I don't see any. I don't hear any. That's a good point too. Doesn't look like a bullfrog, it looks like a bear claw. This view doesn't get old. Okay, this is the top uh, the famous Kearsage Pass. Oh, one more little switchback, hold on. <laughs> the real top. Town food, town food, town food, town food, town food, town food. There's the parking lot. What's up? This is a geology wonderland around here. I can only imagine. I can only imagine. I didn't really know.
<laughs> okay, so obviously we're in town. Uh, we've done anything except for shower and lots of eating, as you've seen. That's where I'm staying. I was uh, initially against the uh, the uh, zero, but now I'm excited about it, so we'll be off tomorrow and do chores. Day 69. This is a zero day in Bishop. I've uh, already had breakfast. Showing you a bunch of food, so I didn't show you more pancakes, but that's what I had. So this is a zero day in Bishop. Bishop's a real cool town. There's a million hikers here. We're in a bubble. And uh, Sandman's back at the doctor. It's not pink eye, it's just some allergic reaction. He's getting pills for that. Um, got laundry going, doing some other stuff. Gonna take a big nap, resupply, and head out in the morning. I'll try and get you some video of something cool. So you can see a little bit. I've taken no video today. All I've done is take a big nap and uh, try to get caught up on video. Sorry about that. I know the videos are kind of slow coming out, but I said at the beginning, but there's really no signal out on this PCT. Um, but upper crust pizza, that's dinner, and then resupply. You're totally caught up. <laughs> This is uh, the end of the zero. We are got resupply. It's almost 10 o'clock at night because we have screwed around. Um, let's see, first of all, original Red Dawn with Patrick Swayze. <laughs> That's good resupply packing movie. And oh, Sharon Roma Shoeless, there he is. He's alive. And that's five days worth. And I don't think I have enough. I got trash. Everything's done. Pack up, go to sleep. And um, pancakes in the morning and then off. Day 70. So uh, we're leaving Bishop. We're headed for the bus right now. Little P, we bumped back into her. She's only a day behind us. So today was, yesterday was our zero. Today is her zero. So, and uh, she's doing great. She's flying. She's caught all the way up to yeah. us. So we have to do the bus and then we have to uh, go back over Kurosawa Pass. back on the trailhead well the parking lot that we came down to to leave here we go again um, everybody's real heavy and I don't know what we got seven and a half miles climb back up to uh, the trail we got to go straight up it's not good and uh, so that's seven and a half miles here seven and a half miles back 16 extra miles uh, on the Whitney excursion, so that's 31 extra miles added to the PCT. And we're gonna go to a certain place and get to the Bishop Pass and go back to Bishop in like four days. Resupply again, that'll be extra miles. You see where I'm going. Extra miles, I don't like extra miles. I know you saw this view on the way down, but I thought it was worth another little look. I'm getting close to 
here starts past again. I think it's just not there, but like over there somewhere. I've been going pretty good, pretty steady. It's just a rough old climb, especially since none of these miles count. <laughs> This is nice outside. Everything's fine. Okay, let's get up there. How's it going? Good. Here we are at Kearsarge Pass again. Except with new people. <laughs> Here he comes, strong. Leading the pack. You didn't miss. You didn't lose Mariki, did you? Yeah. <laughs> I see her. I was too cold to swim. That's good. I was just soaking my legs in the water crossing, so I wore shorts the first day, and I got sunburned super bad. So I was like, "Well, I'm doing pants the rest of the time, I guess." Might be the afternoon mountain storms coming in right on time. We took about an hour and 10 minute lunch <laughs> because we don't have that much further to go. Uh, maybe two and a half miles. So we're just trying to get to, back to the PCT and then uh, we know a few good camp spots and we'll just pick one of those. And I set up for what we got tomorrow. This is Bullfrog Lake again. We came obviously the other way, but I thought also another worth another look. All right, so this is the end of the day. Um, we're going up uh, Glen Pass tomorrow. Should be fairly difficult. Um, up's gonna be easy, down's gonna be, I think, kind of a nightmare. So we're only, one, we're camping at 11,000, like 30 feet, just right over 11,000. Um, well, we're real close, we're only like 1.3 from the peak. And uh, this thicket of trees right there, that's where everybody's at. And I can kind of see some people moving around. That's where the rest of the gang is, but there's only so many sites. So I found this spot right here. It's pretty good. It's kind of in the rocks. A lot of bear activity. So we're going to have to be smart with the food. we got our bear because we're going to have to hide it somewhere pretty well. But this should, should all be fine. Anyway, that's it for the day. I'll see you tomorrow. One quick shot. Uh, tent site kind of worked out. I mean, it's sloped and bumpy and all that stuff, but it's hard to beat that. All right. See you tomorrow for real.